All right, so today we're gonna to be testing the $100 auto rifle, better known as the Quicksilver Storm. And there's a reason why it took me so goddamn long to actually get the gun. It's $100. I gotta do it, man. Could I have waited for Lightfall and tested it when you inevitably get it for free for no fucking reason? Absolutely. Uh, am I going to do that? No. Thankfully, my friend has a bigger wallet than I do, so he slapped me with a fat $100 from his wallet and said, Take it, you loser. So I took it, and with my pride in shambles, I decided to test the weapon's DPS. So the one question on everyone's mind for like the past three months, is this weapon pay to win? And we will be answering that question today. So if you enjoy and you want to help renew my friend's wallet, make sure to hit that like and subscribe because Lord knows I need to pay him back. My pride is in shambles. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. You ready for Actium War Rig, baby? Yeah. Alright. And... Just tell me when. Uh... Do it now. He'll walk into it. Yeah, he's just he's just chilling. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, that's that's probably better than anything we've done before. <laughs> that's not saying much. Four hundred thousand! Woo! Which drew very well. Quicksilver so. Storm! <laughs> <laughs> now, I do want to clarify, this gun did have some weird shenanigans going on when it first launched. Everyone called it broken on Twitter, and it very well might have been. I didn't have $100 to spend on it at the time, so I never experienced that. I can only test it as it is right now. And as it is right now, it is a primary auto rifle, and that is where it's at. <laughs> Depending on what Bungie does with this weapon, with the strand stuff, we will have to see. It might even make it better. Who knows, it might make it worse. We don't know if that's even possible, but it might be. I don't know. Anyways, that's all for me. Thank you for watching. Go watch my other stuff. Leave a like, subscribe, and goodbye.